Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, O, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Ow, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, what, baby, what's popping? What's going on? What's going on in the life of a Saggy for July 2018? What y'all doing? What y'all got going on? <laughs> Hopefully everything is positive, loving, and full of abundance. I send you guys many blessings as always. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. Thank you uh, in advance now for all of the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love that you send me in the comment session. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. I said the session. Y'all, I definitely had to pull my throat chakra out for y'all. My little throat chakra candle. Because I'm having the hardest freaking time talking during the, trying to record this damn Sagi video. I don't know if y'all are having a hard time speaking or you don't know what to say to somebody. I, I'm not sure. But um, I'm definitely having a hard time. So I have to, you know, even with Taurus, <laughs> I have to light my throat chakra candle. So I see right, right now. Today is going to be a day about communication and what are we learning? What are we speaking? Okay. So, Sagis, um, of course, this is not personal, it's general. Okay, if you do need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description because I work hard to put that shit up there. Y'all, my keyboard is bootleg and half ass work. Okay. I'll be working with some, with some rigged stuff. Okay. But guess what? I'll be working. So, that's all that matters. Okay. However, jeez. Uh, okay. It, uh, all right. Um, also, y'all, make sure um, if you're watching this today that you can catch that Q&A session uh, live this evening. I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I'm going to be answering between 10 to 15 questions. Okay. It's my way of giving back. I forgot to say this in the toys video, but I am one person and I got about 23 things going on in this month at one time. Okay. So let's get it. All right. So this will be for the mid-month of July from the 15th to the 31st. Okay. For my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as cross watchers for Sagittarius, right? So Sag is intuitively before I even grab the cards. One, y'all made my back hurt. There is a need to forgive someone possibly from your past or in your present situation right now. You're having a hard time forgiving. Sag is, I feel a lot of regretful energy around y'all. Spirit wants you to know that there's a life lesson, there's lessons and things that you're feeling intuitively that you need to go back and wrap up in the past, okay? A lot of y'all are going to be able to move forward from your past. And some of you guys are actually going to be starting a new that will actually lead to marriage success, I mean, building with someone as well as rekindling family situations, okay? Sagittarius, a lot of y'all are coming out of a dark place. It will be coming out of a dark place between the 15th and the 31st of July. You're starting to get your foot in back, okay? I feel like a lot of y'all have been crying and getting out of phase of sweeping your emotions under the rug. You're starting to feel you're going through a balancing stage of your life, you know, and I feel like Karma is on the move, you know, and Spirit wants you to know that the seeds that you have sown have not gone unnoticed, okay? Now, some of you have not sown such great seeds and just know that justice could go either way in this situation, but it's still a lesson even if it doesn't do you a favor. The lesson there is unconditional love. All right, Sadness. All right, y'all. I hope y'all took a deep breath with me there because I'm going to like that. Movie, <laughs> movie, a lot of y'all thinking about a whole lot of stuff at one time, okay? Sadly, so I did pull from the uh, tarot, so the, uh, the oracles of the dreams of Gaia tarot, okay? I did pull two cards for you as well as Spirit wanted me to add an additional one, okay? Yeah, a lot of y'all are coming out of a period where you're done with, hold on, this damn glam. Oh, oh, there we go. Y'all are coming out of a period where you're done masking your emotions, okay? I, I feel like Saggy is is finding their light between the 15th and the 31st, okay? I feel like some of y'all are already walking in this now, but you're finding your light, okay? A lot of y'all are finding your life purpose, okay? I feel like a lot of y'all are shedding light on situations from the past, okay, where you walked away from, and I feel like you're feeling very regretful for it, okay? You want to make the move to go make something right with somebody, okay? But I feel like... And this person definitely could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? But 
I, f I feel like you want to make the move, okay, uh, towards someone, all right? Savvy, whatever it is that you're learning, whatever it is that you're manifesting, whatever it is that you're studying or the information that you're gathering, okay, it's definitely going to help you. A lot of y'all are uh, studying on how to manifest um, manifest things into your life financially, I feel, as well as some of y'all are gathering information towards someone possibly from your past, okay? And this information that you gather, okay, it is going to help you move forward towards making a decision as well as a lot of y'all are walking into a, a period of your life where you are embracing sage wisdom, okay? Some of y'all could also be dealing with the Virgo, okay? But I feel like some of y'all between this 15th and the 31st are going to have a major download while you possibly in the woods or possibly in your sacred space, all right? I feel like some of y'all are going to see things more clearly and it's going to help you. Whatever you're learning, whatever you're, the information that you're gathering is going to help you to balance your fat, your feminine and masculine energies, okay? I definitely feel like for some of y'all, y'all twin flame is another fire sign. It was still sad. And for some of y'all, y'all starting to intuitively. Some of y'all, y'all third eye will be booming, okay? Booming and blooming between the mid month, okay, of July. And for some of y'all, throughout this download, is it going to allow you to see things more clearly about a situation maybe in your past that you regret for before, okay? And understand that I pulled also for for you from the Crystal Angels Day by Doreen Virtue, okay? That I got the smoky quartz. Clearing negativity. Release negativity from within or around you. So I feel like that, that's what a lot of you are doing right now and going forward toward the rest of the month of July. You will be removing people, places, things, anything to, that brings any form of negativity to your life that can, can assist you within its balance, okay? Can assist you within growth ascending. Can assist you within going on your, your mystical journey. Can assist you with becoming that sage, okay? Becoming that transmutable energy that you were put here to be and actually walking into your life purpose, okay? Without regret, with love, with gaining the lessons of unconditional love, okay? So I feel like a lot of y'all should definitely be, um, possibly if you could find a smoky quartz for the mid-month of July, that would also assist you, okay? Um, Peridot, okay? This says life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing that they contain. So I feel like Sagittarius, a lot of y'all, some of y'all are also finding that you're dealing with past life karma, okay? And this could also be when I say it spoke about your twin flame or some type of dynamic. Because I got a strong, I kept getting so many images of things regarding family dynamics, okay? Maybe crying over spilled milk, maybe how you did things in the past. A lot of y'all have went through some form of evolution, so you're not who you used to be. A lot of y'all are will be um balancing that masculine and feminine energy and with doing so with moving forward in a passionate way with on, on that masculine you know with your masculine side. You're already a masculine energy and yang energy. But a lot of y'all are going to be tapping into that feeling to that feminine side, okay, and embracing your feelings to know that I do have emotions, I do care about these things, maybe I pushed them, swept them under a rug in the past, but now I want to get some information, I want to learn more about these things, I want to move forward in a new way, I want to move forward on this mystical journey, okay, let's rock and sag, spirit, what do you have for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus, as one of the cross watches for Sagittarius, what would I need to know between me and the end of July, thank you. Okay, Sagittarius, I feel like a lot of you are spirit of leading a lot of y'all to trust your intuition, possibly about a situation involving some type of child, okay? For some of y'all, you could have an Aquarius person or a Piscean um, in your energy, okay? They could be having a baby or maybe there's a, a new pregnancy. Some of y'all could be finding out about a pregnancy and intuitively you feel like there's more information that you need to be that you need to have about this situation. And I feel like a lot of y'all are going to trust your intuition. You're gonna move in a way of logic over heart, period. However, you are still gonna be embracing your emotions. Some of y'all are gonna be charging forward possibly towards a Gemini Libra Aquarius to communicate that you want to start over or some type of fresh start, okay, or communicate regarding children. Some of y'all will be receiving clarity as clarity. Um, regarding a Gemini Libra Aquarius, that's something that you're very passionate about, Sag. It's something that means a lot to you, okay? Because I feel like a lot of y'all are trusting y'all intuition. Some of y'all are not trusting your intuition. And in fact, instead of trusting your intuition, you're carrying the burdens or you're feeling very burdened behind a situation that involves children. Some of y'all will be 
um, communicating with, a, with an air sign that, hey, I don't want to do this shit no more. I'm a, I'm, some of y'all going to cut an air sign off. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this this air sign could be uh, cutting you off. Somebody don't know how to talk to somebody, okay? Somebody could be cutting someone off due to communication. You communicate with me very recklessly, and I'm already burdened enough. I got enough shit going on and worries and things that I'm worried about from my past. So some of y'all could be moving away from Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and possibly starting something new. Um, I feel... Some of y'all could be moving away from just the turbulence or moving away from some form of burdens, okay, that maybe an air sign cause. This could also be a fire sign as well or a Pisces. Some of y'all are feeling uh, burdened by, definitely by a, a situation involving a child, and I feel like this is a, a fairly new child. Okay, some of y'all are going to be very defensive, okay? Some of y'all are moving away to possibly go get the, the truth and clarity that you need, possibly from a defensive fire sign, okay? I feel like a lot of y'all have been wanting to make this decision for quite some time. Maybe it's been on your heart, but a lot of y'all want to move away from the past, from the turbulent past uh, with this person, with the uh, with with the mother, okay, this could be some mother, all right, you're wanting to start a new cycle with this person, okay, because this person, you're knowing that this person is now, now you're knowing that this person is a soulmate, so you want to get over this whole crying over spilled milk energy, or this could be the other person towards you, Sag, but they definitely are wanting to move forward, wanting to move past, uh, get past issues okay that maybe could occur in the past they're wanting to give you the clarity that you want and they want to do it in a way that doesn't that's not burdensome to you maybe in the past a lot of y'all are expecting this person to be very arrogant and very reckless by the mouth but some of y'all if it's an air sign they might be okay but for some of y'all if it's a fire sign believe it or not this person has one last fight in them, and so do you, Sash, to clear this karma out of the cycle. For some of y'all, you see how the little monkey is, how his hand is. For some of y'all, it's definitely an Aries, okay? It could also be a Libra. All right, so Sash, all right. So some of y'all are going to be going forward uh, between the mid months and uh, toward the end of July. A lot of y'all are going to be working on getting truth and clarity about what I feel like you feel you intuitively already know, okay? And some of y'all are definitely going to, some of y'all are using some form of magic, or someone is using some form of magic to possibly, like, a, it's a law of attraction, but I feel like it's some type of spell. Someone can be using spells, okay, to manifest a particular situation back to them, okay? I feel like some of y'all are going to communicate, okay, possibly regarding a three-party situation with an area. Some of y'all are charging you to communicate, um... To communicate possibly with an Aries or this could also be a father figure or you could have a father figure coming towards you to communicate possibly. You know, I feel like y'all not y'all may not like this communication or the other person, this Aries person may not like this communication, but I feel like in order to move forward and have a have a new, okay, a new, it is definitely required for some of y'all what y'all going to be communicating, okay? Some of y'all are learning how to balance these masculine and feminine energies, okay? You also have to learn how to go use these retrogrades more so for the passion, not the reckless communication that comes behind it with that Mercury transit, okay? So I strongly feel like a lot of y'all want a new start in love, okay, possibly with a Leo or an Aryan person, okay, or just want a new start in love, possibly with the water sign that you may have children with as well. There's definitely children involving some portion of this dynamic because I keep seeing people in kids' situations. That is, ten of pentacles, okay? So what y'all going to be communicating to this person is, hey, you my soulmate. I know that we had a turbulent past, but some of y'all, I feel like, and I'm hearing that these are foundations that possibly didn't even get off the ground. Maybe there was some form of deception with this person, and then, you know, there was a cutoff, because I definitely see someone left and moved away, okay, or someone got cut off. But, Saji, you or this other person could also be an earth sign or air sign. They're going to be communicating with you. Hey, you my soulmate, and I'm willing to work for this. I want to work for this. I want to move from past turbulent issues, and I want to work for it. I want to get out of this defensive energy because I know in order for us to have this new divine start, we got to get over this energy of crying, from, crying over spilled milk from the past. Okay, that's not how we're going to move forward because it's going to make us move forward in a way that's continuously burdensome, okay? So in order to drop these burdens, Sadie, some of y'all could also be moving past, finding out or getting the truth about some past form of betrayal, okay, that possibly left you feeling completely stabbed in the back. And y'all at the 10, you got the 10 of swords with the 10 of wands, so you're definitely going to be finding out secrets that's going to allow you to put down the burden, all right? Some of y'all have a Gemini Libra Aquarius that 
maybe cut you off in the past, maybe you cut this person off, but they are not getting no sleep, y'all. They are in their feelings, and for some of them, they're going to be moving forward towards you with knowing that they could possibly get a defensive attitude, okay? But they're going to move towards you to, to, to tell you, hey, I'm still passionate about this. I want to make this work, okay? But some of y'all, y'all could also be moving forward towards, a, um, I'm sorry, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, all right? Yeah, some of y'all are definitely stalking somebody. You could have somebody stalking you, okay? This person could just possibly be stalking to dig up information. This could also be you, Sag, with, with this knowledge card. Some of y'all could also be just kind of checking the checker before you make a move forward. Because you're like, no, nah, you're not going to cut me again with this damn sword. I got one last fight, but I'd be damned if I wear this little sword with your child to shed. So some of y'all get out of that mindset, okay? Because I feel like there's a, there's an opportunity here to expand and to grow, okay, with someone who you truly love, Sagittarius, but it's up to you to be truthful with yourself, to embrace that feminine as well, and embrace the balance of that feminine as well as the masculine energy, for some of y'all, y'all definitely going into a new cycle, um, and for some of y'all, if you're dealing with a court case, there will be information regarding some situation possibly involving a Libra, you're going to get some clarity, okay, some messages about something that you weren't sure about, all right, and I feel like for some of y'all, it could definitely involve a Virgo, but there's definitely going to be a new start, okay? So there is going to be, you got the Ace of Swords, you have the Ace of Rods here, you have the Ace of Swords twice, actually, in the Ace of Rods. So there's definitely going to be some clarity or some light shed on the situation possibly involving the Pisces as well. Uh, that was very burdensome, okay? And a lot of y'all are going to move forward, all right? But you just have to trust your intuition, Sag. Trust your intuition and get out of the, in, get out of the energy of crying over spilled milk don't worry about what was worry about what is what can don't worry even about that just know what is and what can be and what will be you are the master of your own thoughts you are literally the creator of your own destiny going forward so don't make it a shitty one because you don't have why are you gonna manifest shit okay okay some of y'all are definitely some of y'all are definitely uh, learning about your energy. Some of y'all are definitely delving in the arts as far as alchemy, okay? You're embracing that alchemy, that alchemy, that expansion, okay? Beautiful, Sag, all right? But just know that you had to go through this, all right? What was built to break you made you great, all right? Just know what was, what, what was once pain can be power if you allow it to be. Trust the God that moves through you, okay? That's what I have for my Saturdays for the mid-July um, from the 15th to the 31st. If this resonates, please give me a thumbs up, okay? Um, thank you so much for everybody who comments in advance, all right? But if you do need a personal reading, again, that information can be found within the description. Hit me up. I'm not completely booked, and I can definitely slide you in, okay? <laughs> I love y'all. Until August.